Hey there, fellow poners. Welcome to Master of Ponages, Art of Total War. All right, everybody. So today we're going to take a look at the UI in the main menus. This is what it's going to look like the very first time you turn on Total War Arena. And today we're going to be looking at every little aspect of this UI and how to navigate through it, as there are some things that are very easily missed. So let's start off with some easy stuff. Bottom left is your chat box. The main command and chat is slash roll. That's pretty much all you'll ever see in global chat. To the right of that is your friends. You can manage your friends. This is all based on your Steam friends. So you can see all your friends that are on Steam and if they're in game you can just click on them say invite to game or if they're already in the game they'll say invite to party and they'll join your party. That will automatically by default make you party leader. At that point on their screen where it says play I think it says play as well, but they have to click on that before you're able as the party leader to let everybody join together. Down here you see your commander, who we have right now is Arminus, and your units that you have selected for your army. So at first you're not going to be able to do anything. You can't upgrade or, or buy any upgrades for your units, but this is where that's all at for later. If you want to change your commander, you want to click up here on the top left, the pig symbol, that's the barbarians. The the eagle with the wreath around it, these are the Romans. And the owl are the Greeks. So you're able to also notice that there's a tab right here, so you can go down, but that's only on certain ones. Right now it's just the Greeks. So you can select a different army. There is no time to lose. The barracks is where you click to select a different unit. So let's say I want to use two militia hoplites. I'm not sure how to say that name, but the archers. And then you'll have that mix. If you want to remove a unit from your army, let's say I don't want an archer, I just want three spear units, you, just click, you highlight over it, click remove, and then you would go back and select your next top one. The army tab uh, is really useful for seeing what upgrades you want to work towards. You can look at the end game units and see how to get there so you know what you want to work on leveling up first. We will get into leveling up in a later video as it's pretty in-depth. Up at the top right, you've got your gold or your shop. You could buy gold for real money. Um, you could buy colors, some of which you're able to buy with silver, all, of, uh, all the silver ones I've bought already. You can use your gold that you do buy to convert unit XP into commander XP, which we'll get into in a later video as well. And then you're able to buy your premium account which is where you get plus 50% to all your rewards in the game. And then you can convert uh, gold to silver, so if you buy gold and you want silver, you can convert that over as well. The next thing over, you have the silver, and that's where you, you just click that and it's a shortcut to the convert silver, and your commander XP. So it's a shortcut to your conversion where you can take unit XP for units that are already fully leveled, and you could convert that over to commander XP to level up your commanders. After you play your first game, you'll end up with a pop-up over here that says victory or defeat. Let's take a look at what those results look like. So first you're going to see what kind of bonuses you had. So if you win, you get a bonus for victory. And this time it says we captured. Um, you can also get uh, just, it'll say victory defeat or defeat. Um, it'll say victory bonus capture or victory bonus, um, I think it says annihilate, which means you destroyed their entire army. Um, here's where how much silver you earned, how much commander XP you earned, and how much each individual unit earned. And let's go to the next screen over. This is where you can see the breakdown of how you earned that unit XP, commander XP, and your silver. So you can see here that you do earn inside battle points for damage, vision, capture points, which you can get for capturing the enemy base or defending your base, morale, meaning how much morale damage did you cause or how much morale boosting did you do for your team. How much teamwork you did, meaning marking units um, as a team leader, which we'll get into in another video. You also get points for doing stuff as a team leader as well. Friendly fire, you do lose silver for friendly fire. Unfortunately, you do not lose XP. We'll get into that later. And how much, if you use consumables, how much did they cost? And then it shows you your totals at the bottom. The next screen over is the scoreboard. You can see this game. I'm not even sure how long ago this was. I did not do that well. It might have been yesterday, actually. But nonetheless, you, you can see here that 
um, how much friendly fire somebody did, how much damage they did, how many of their units died, and that's the number of like individual dudes, not how many you killed, but it's how many of yours were killed. S, as close as I can guess, I believe is spotting, uh, or sight or vision. And C, I believe, is your capture points. How many points you earn for capturing. And you can see your enemy's team as well. Bottom right, you can click on your bonuses. Your bonuses are based not only on your premium account, but also on each individual commander. You get a daily bonus for victory. So keep an eye on that. And also, you get a 30% bonus for diversity, meaning you have more than one type of unit in your army. Practice mode, I don't believe that's implemented yet. Profile. So here you can see how much longer you have on your premium account, how many battles you fought, and then your averages per battle and your max, how m the most kills, XP or commander XP that you earned, and then your average, your, your win percentage of victory, which should really be about 50% plus or minus, depending on some random variables there, because you should win half the time, unless you play with a team, in which case you might do better than, than that. And then finally the bottom right is your menu where you have your about, your options to change graphics and sound, redeem codes so if you get vouchers for doing donations and that kind of stuff, uh, customer support to submit tickets and then quit to win those. And that's the whole main menu. Hope you guys learned something. If you didn't, sorry, we'll get into more advanced videos next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and you will get updates as soon as the next videos come out. Thanks again and see you guys next time.